Hey there, welcome to this DFI project. Today, we will be starting our pinball machine version 2 project. A little backstory if you haven't seen our previous videos. During the pandemic, we built a virtual pinball machine using mostly parts and things we had laying around. The machine evolved a few times since then, changing buttons, changing software, adding a real DMD screen, and changing the way the back glass looked. With the way the new back glass came out, we decided it was time to move up to a bigger play field and a much more complete looking cabinet. That leads us to here. With this pile of plywood and parts. And I'm going to show you how we turn all of this into a 4K capable virtual pinball machine. This is the original design in SketchUp. I only just started this project and things have already changed a little but the basic concept remains the same. The materials we'll use in this video are two sheets of 3 quarter inch maple plywood. First things first, I use the side rail to get a minimum size for the pinball cabinet. We don't want to make it too much bigger than the old cabinet, while still being able to fit the larger TV. Then I draw the back and draw the line for the main body before finishing up the remainder of the back box mount. Then it's time to saw the initial part to separate it from the larger sheet. Then I level out the line for the back box mount, keeping in mind that the front will sit around three and a half inches lower than the back. As you can see, I use a 2x4 to lift the back up to simulate and get a good line. I end up not going with the raised design for the back box mount later, and just chopping it off at an even level angle. With that done, we cut the bottom, the front, and the back pieces. Then it's on to the back box uprights. If you look closely, I ruined my circular saw by being stupid. My wife will claim that I did it on purpose to get a new saw, but... Okay, so here's my new saw, whatever. Alright, that's it for the initial cuts today. Stay tuned for the next part where we start putting together the cabinet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with this project.